I would venture to guess that most bird enthusiasts in the United States of any adult age who know what a limpkin is believe for most of their lives that they would need to travel to Florida to see one. After all, Florida, along with extreme southern portions of Georgia, were once the only places where these birds were located in this country. This map, courtesy of the National Audubon Society, shows the Lemkin's general and historical range in the United States. However, around 2017, the Lemkins decided to do a national tour of sorts. It seems that, since then, sightings of this bird have been occurring further and further north and west. And, in 2022, that tour exploded. Just take a look at the sightings map on eBird. They're all over the place. And, because of this phenomenon, many people who may have gone the rest of their lives without observing one were able to do so while traveling a much shorter distance. Now, many of these sightings are isolated, but breeding pairs have been documented in Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, and Southeast Texas. For nearly my entire life, I'd wanted to see a limpkin, and in all that time, I thought I would need to travel to Florida to find one, which is about a thousand miles from where I live. However, in May 2022, I was able to observe one in Texas. I've read on social media where people are wondering why these birds are straying from their normal range. People questioned if their preferred food source, invasive apple snails, had spread further west and maybe that was the reason. Experts believe that to be the case. The U.S. Geological Survey reports that certain species of apple snail are established in Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, and Texas. However, that doesn't explain the isolated trips to other far-flung places where apple snails are non-existent. In fact, in the few hours I observed the limpkin, which was visiting North Texas, I did not see it capture any apple snails. It fed almost exclusively on Asian clams, Corbicula fluminia, also an invasive species. It seemed to pull one out of the water every minute or so and used its twisted bill to pry open the clams and remove and consume the insides with relative ease. Although they resemble herons and ibises in general form, limpkins are generally considered to be more closely related to rails and cranes. The long-legged limpkin is about the size of an ibis, and it is also shaped somewhat like an ibis, but with a rail's bill. It ranges in length from 25 to 30 inches. I'm not certain of the height while standing, but it appears that they stand about two and a half to three feet tall at the max. It is brown in color overall with white spots and streaks on the top and sides. Male and female look alike. Its yellowish bill is long and heavy with a strange little twist at the tip. The twisted shape allows the bird to expertly remove the insides of freshwater mollusks. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology reports that limpkins feed almost exclusively on apple snails but they also feed on at least three other native freshwater snail species and five species of freshwater mussels. Limpkins will also eat small amounts of seeds, insects, crayfish, reptiles, and amphibians, especially when their main sources of food are scarce due to drought or flooding. While hunting, they walk slowly with a slightly undulating and high-stepping gait that can make them appear to be lame or limping, hence the name Limpkin. Limpkins prefer shallow fresh water, including marshes, creeks, ponds, lakes, and sloughs. As well as a breeding range in the United States, their range extends south through southern Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. The National Park Service reports that limpkins nest in a variety of habitats, from atop floating vegetation to tree limbs high above the ground. They gather sticks, vines, leaves, moss, grass, and other types of vegetation which they use to construct shallow nests. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology reports that a female will lay four to seven eggs, which are incubated for about a month. Upon hatching, the babies are covered with down and able to swim, walk, and run. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more informative nature videos. Thank you.